welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Leslie. Hello. Hi there. What do we have by here? This is a Panamanian golden frog. What can you tell us about these uh, Panamanian golden frogs? Unfortunately, they're now considered extinct out in the wild. And the main reason for it is a fungus called the chytrid fungus. What it does is it thickens the layers of the skin to the point where the frog can no longer breathe through their skin and it suffocates them. That's not good. No, it is not. There is a cure for it in captivity, but unfortunately it's hard to spray anything in a widespread area like Panama. Mm -hmm. And like that's a kind of a decent sized frog, but out in the wild, that's probably very small and extremely hard to find. It is. They're often found near waterfalls where they will call to each other. The males will call to the females so that the females will come and they'll do an amplexus, which is kind of a hug. A male will jump on the female's back and hold on around her shoulders so that way when she dumps her eggs, he can dump the sperm right on top of it because they do external fertilization. But sometimes the waterfalls are so loud, the females can't hear the males calling to each other. So they'll do hand waves to each other to signal, hey, I'm over here. That's kind of funny. Yeah. Have you ever uh, seen that here? Or I have, actually. Uh, sometimes males will do it to each other like, hey, I'm a boy. And the other guy's like, hey, me too. So sometimes they'll use that with each other as well. Mm, that's kind of funny to watch. It is. Mm. You also have kind of a mini waterfall right here on these rocks. Yes, so we do. Kind of Unfortunately, this isn't meant for breeding. What they'll do is they'll lay the eggs underneath the rocks. So the rocks here are too thickly stacked for that to happen. But we actually have breeding tanks for them. We're waiting for our female here. This is our only female to egg up. You'll see her get much larger, and you'll actually be able to see the eggs underneath her skin. It'll be this big white mass. And once that happens, then we'll introduce her to a male into the breeding tank, and hopefully the magic will happen. So that's pretty cool that you guys are helping this species go on. Yes. Do you guys send these frogs um, anywhere else for breeding programs, or do you just uh, keep them here for breeding? Ours are currently with us for breeding, but if the person involved in the species survival plan calls us up and says, hey, could you send our female to this zoo here, we would comply with that because in the long run, it is all about protecting the species. Especially since they're extinct in the wild, they're only probably in captivity now. As in they're so small, you can't really find that many frogs out in the jungle. Correct. It which I'm assuming small. where they're from. Yes. So what adaptations do they have for surviving out in the jungle? Well, they have those bright colors to let them, any predators know, hey, you should probably not mess with me. Any animal that has bright colors out in the wild is either advertising that they themselves are toxic or mimicking an animal that's toxic. Either way, it helps to protect them against predators. Um, I'm assuming that this frog would eat insects out in the wild. Yes. And what kind of insects would it eat? Really, anything it can fit in its mouth. Frogs are not too picky about what insects they eat. If it's crawling and it's small enough, they're going to try to eat it. And what do you feed them here? We feed her specifically a lot of quarter-inch crickets. They have a decent amount of fat to them, which helps her egg up. But we'll also give her treats like bean beetles as well. And I've been up in your uh, upstairs part of the zoo that's not open to the public. How many do you have up there that are currently breeding? We have four males upstairs, so we're just waiting for a female to egg up. So she is kind of the sole base of the breeding program here? Currently, yes. And it could be that um, the species survival program person calls us up and says, hey, would you like more females for the breeding program? And if we have room for them, we will certainly accept them and then can do a rotation. But as of right now, we have one female and four males. When they were sent to us, they were too young to tell if they were males or females yet. So we just ended up getting a lot of males in this batch. How hard is it to get one of these frogs? It is uh, 
pretty difficult just because they want to make sure that these frogs are going to an institution that is successful with breeding them and has the ability to breed them. So as of right now, um, the priority is going to those zoos. So it must be kind of an honor that you get to breed such an endangered frog. Yes, it is. Well, thank you so much, Leslie, for telling us about these frogs. You're welcome. And if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and also check out my Instagram, at Cole Shirk. As always, I'll see you next week.